Hey, what's happening guys? It's me again. Um, wanted to shoot a little video. Uh, let's do a bike check. Um, I'd say probably 80%, probably about 80% of my friends are horror guys. Like diehard horror guys. So, um, being that I have, I've always had horrors my whole, I never had anything but horrors. I probably had a lot. Not that many, maybe like 11, eh, about 11 or 12 horrors through the years, through the 80s and all through the years. So anyway, a little bike check for you. Um, the frame is a 2016 Haro Lineage Sport. Um, that top tube is a 21 inch top tube. Um, Let's start from the front. Let's start from the front. So, we got lineage bars, and I think they're, the, I think the bars are, oh, geez, eight and a half rise, and 28 wide, the bars. Um, my Tech 77 levers, which, I, I, I love these things, with the lock and button. I don't really use the lock and button uh, too much. I keep I keep my brakes on this thing dialed. I've always been a, a freak about keeping like dialed brakes. Um, you can see there's very little travel in these brakes. They are they are just so dialed. It's it's insane. Anybody that knows me knows I used to have the most dialed brakes you can imagine. Look at the travel in that. That's it. It's just insane. They work so good. Um, my Amy grips. Um, I think they're Tritons, I think they're, uh, I, don't, I don't think these are Tritons, I think they're just a regular Amy grip. Uh, I used to run Amy Tritons in the 80s, but uh, I, I like these grips a lot. I got mushrooms, oh, here is a quick little peek. Um, I got these mushroom grips, right here, the old eyes. Um, my mushrooms are waiting to go on this bike um, after my Amy's wear out. But uh, yeah, working our way down. Um, honest, uh, 990, 990, I think they're ombre uh, brakes, it says it right there. Um, they work good, I love these. I mean, I'm going from like MX-1000s in the 80s days to these, it's just night and day, there's just no comparison. These things, these brakes work unbelievable. It's absolutely amazing. The old Odyssey uh, gyro, it's just a classic. I think this is the sealed bearing one. The Odyssey, uh, the sealed bearing unit here. Um, works good, works really good. Um, running the, the Odyssey brake pads, the clear ones, the soft ones, they're actually a little bit... Um, the soft ones, I run the soft ones front and back, so yeah, I got the old squeaky brake thing going on. Um, Harlow Mesa tires, uh, 2.240, big balloon fat tires, which eh, I'm not really a big fan of, but they, they work good. Um, the rims are Odyssey 7KA rims. Um, animal javelin hubs, um, lineage forks with the 990 mounts on them. Uh, working our way back, we have RO cranks, the Pro Series, with a 28 spline Harl sprocket. I run um, 28 9 gearing on this bike, uh, which I like. It's it's not too bad. It's a little tall uh, gearing, but it works. It works for me though. Um, the pedals, oh my God, the pedals. I love, I absolutely love these pedals. The uh, the Haro Fusion pedals. Um, I had to go with the gold. Yeah, I had to go with the gold. The old uh, gold pedal from Mirror thing, definitely going on here. Um, gotta show a lot of respect for our, our fallen heroes in the BMX world. Um, Dave Mira, one of, one of the best, one of the greats. Rest in peace. Um, but I absolutely love these pedals. I'm a steel pedal guy. Uh, even in the 80s, I used to run, uh, I used to love my Shimano DX uh, pedals in the 80s. And when Haro came out with these, these are exact replica. I think from what I'm told, Haro bought the uh, molding from Shimano to create these pedals. So these are an exact replica of the Shimano DX. I love these things. I love them to death. Uh, the cranks are, I think they're 175s uh, millimeter length. Um, another pair of ombre brakes in the back. Um, Odyssey soft brake pads in the back, which I'm not. I'm not a fan of the soft brake pads. 
I like stopping. I like how dialed my brakes are, and I like the fact that they really, really work extremely well, but I just don't like the squeaking part. I'm sure somebody out there can figure out how to stop the squeaking. I think it's how you angle the brake pad on the rim, like how the pad hits the rim um, will cause less squeaking. If anybody knows that setup, um, how to set the pads up so they're not squeaking, please do so. Message me. Um, comment in the video, do whatever, just get me some that information because <laughs> uh, I can't stand the squeaking. Um, but I like the way they stop though. Anyway, another Haro La Mesa uh, 2.40 uh, big fat balloon tire in the back. Um, someday I want to downgrade to the skinnier, um, I think it's a 2.0 um, La Mesa. I like these tires a lot. They got kind of a gnarled, I don't know if you can see that, they got kind of a gnarled uh, feel to them. And these tires are probably about, I don't know, maybe two years old, two or three years old. I think they're about three years old, actually. Um, they're real grippy. Like I said, they got that null finish on them. They're real grippy. They work really good. They work really, really good. I'm happy with them. I don't think I'm going to upgrade or change tire anytime soon. Maybe to the new Haro HP tire, if anything, but I like these tires a lot. Um, another Odyssey 7K ripping it back. Um, Animal Javelin Hub, like I said, 9 tooth uh, cassette, 9 tooth driver. Um, and again, I run a 28 9 gearing on this bike. It's a little tall, but I like it a lot. I don't have any problems with it, and I like it a lot. So, anyway, that's my bike. And hope you guys like it. And you all have a great day. Peace, love, and happiness to you all. Love you all.